What's up everybody, it's Chase with Semi Pros Garage. I wanted to make a quick video for you guys this morning before uh, I get out the door. Um, for all you that have been following the car and the channel, you guys know that we recently switched to FuelTech software. Uh, one of the, uh, the things that we realized early on was that uh, FuelTech actually does not have a way for you to turn your radiator fans off during a pass. Um, it's not in the uh, thermatic fan settings, which we're on right now, which you guys can see that we have our engine temp trigger here, uh, operation mode on and off, and you just have like your, you know, turn on uh, over and turn off under settings here, but it isn't um, RPM or, uh, you know, TPS or mile per hour based, um, so that we found a little thing, a little solution. So, uh, there's a couple different ways to do this. If you're one of the guys that uses, uh, you can use a generic uh, output, and what that does is you use a like a white wire input that triggers a designated output that you select, which then you go in and you can set your parameters that way. However, if you're like me and you have it on a blue or a yellow output and it's already wired that way in the connector and you don't feel like switching wires, here's a way that you can turn off your radiator fans during your pass and it gives you uh, control to be able to do it from a dashboard switch. So if you go into map options and you go to air conditioning right here. So initially I was against having to use a switch to turn the fans on and off. Um, so the more I thought about it, I went ahead and decided to use a dashboard button so I can just turn it on and off at the dashboard. The computer will remember if you last left the button on or off. So whenever I start the car up, I leave it off until I get heat in the motor. I do the exact same thing with my water pump. So I figured, you know, I'm, I already have to remember to turn the water pump on. Uh, I have a remote water pump. So I get heat in the motor. I turn that on. I turn the fans on at the same time. So the cool thing about this is, so you'll go down and make sure at the lower section down here that you have your uh, output signal as activated at 12 volts. And you go ahead and select your um, combustion engine here for the RPM source. And then your turn off um, under RPM and your turn off above. Uh, these parameters here <clears throat> will control the fans for you. Um, even when you have the dashboard button on, you want to have your turn off under set below your idle RPM. So that way the fans will run at all times uh, while you're at idle. Um, and then your turn off above RPM should be set uh, a little bit lower than what your staging or trans brake RPM is. This way the fans can operate between this RPM at all times after you have hit your dashboard button to turn the fans on and then they will automatically kick back on after after your pass so um if you like i said it will remember if you last left your if you last left the button on or off when you turn the car off and i have it set up this way so that way uh the fans will always run uh even if i forget to reach up and turn the fans off before the pass um, it will automatically do this for you and then just resume the fans after your pass is done. So um, another thing is the turn on delay here. You can set to, I believe, up to it's like 30 or 45 seconds. So um, if you don't want to uh, have this delay set short so that the fans basically will automatically kick on when you hit the button, you can leave the dashboard button on and set this to your standard delay uh sorry if you guys hear any buzzing it's because my wife's called me like four times during this video so um i have it set to three seconds so it basically automatically will kick on uh you can have this delay set longer so if you don't want to turn it off and on with your dashboard button you can set this delay way out and it will just automatically do it for you so that is a way for you to set everything up where you can control your radiator fans during a run so uh, that's just something else that we figured out uh, a couple weeks ago. I wanted to go ahead and make a video for all you guys that have your car wired the same way that I do. So, 
Enjoy, guys. Thanks. Like and subscribe.